There are many people, unfortunately, in our society that have been used and abused by others. In John chapter 8, a woman was brought to Jesus and her accuser said she had been caught in the very act of adultery. We understand that their motives were not because they wanted her to reform or they wanted to help her be a better person. They were very, very evil motives and that's the reason they brought her to Jesus because they really were seeking to trap him. Jesus dealt with them, but then you find Jesus and the woman. At this point, she said nothing. Of course, we cannot excuse her immorality or her poor choices, but she was almost just as much a victim of abuse as she also had made these sinful choices. Then Jesus says something remarkable to her, go. But it's not the kind of go that is, I'm sending you away because I don't like you or I don't love you. Get out of my sight. I don't ever want to see you again. He says, go and sin no more. The remarkable thing that we learn about Jesus, we learn about God in this passage, is that he's a God of forgiveness. And he's also a God of second chances. And so he tells this woman, yes, go on with your life. You really have no choice about that. But as you go on with your life, make better choices. Make different choices. Be a better person. Sin no more. Is there somewhere in your life where you've made some poor choices? Is there something you would like to do over? Would you like a second chance? Repent. Turn to God. Turn to Jesus. Find that second chance. Go and sin no more.